Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at how to modify or customize dimension text in AutoCAD. This is a question that's come up a few times in the comments, so I figured I'd do a quick two minute video on it. I think you guys are going to enjoy. I'm also going to include a couple cool dimension tricks at the end, so stick around. Let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so jumping right in, editing dimension text is typically something you don't want to do uh, since dimensions are dynamic and going to update as you adjust the lines to match the new dimension. But in a few cases, like if you're doing detailing or schematics that are not to scale or NTS, then adding your own or adding uh, tweaks to the dimension text can be helpful. Things like changing it to a piece of text where you could write something like dimension varies or to be determined, that could be nice. Or adding text underneath the line of the dimension is also helpful as well. So in order to edit a piece of dimension text, you can simply double click on it and it's going to highlight this kind of uh, one piece of text. Now this is a dynamic and automatic generated piece of text. You can't actually edit this, but what you can do is delete it and then add in any text or dimension of your own. So you can see I've rounded that off to an even seven feet. And now this isn't going to automatically update as you can see here. So you're going to want to be careful and only use these uh, overrides in specific situations where they're helpful. Now, another way you can do this is leave the automated text and just move your cursor to the right here and hit enter. This is going to allow you to add text below the dimension. So you could change it to something like varies and you could put that in brackets and then simply selecting out of it is going to leave it. Now you can see you've added this piece of text, but this is going to adjust still dynamically. The other option is deleting it completely and simply adding a piece of text. Now, before we jump into the next tip, as well as customizing this a little bit more, I wanted to mention my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. It's packed full of over 10 years of my experience, tips, tricks, and workflows. It's going to take you from uh, a beginner to an intermediate or advanced designer and drafter pretty quickly. It's going to show you everything from setting up your own templates and title blocks, using fields to automate text in those, sheet sets, xrefs. It's also going to show you how to set up drawing sheets and layouts, plotting and exporting drawings on top of a bunch more. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. You can get it now using the link up above or down below and it's on sale using that link and discounted for viewers like yourself. Jumping right back in, another way to modify this text is by using the properties menu. You can do that by selecting a piece of text and choosing properties or hitting control and one to bring up your properties dialog. Now by scrolling down once selected on a dimension to the text area here, you can see the text override. Now to modify text in other ways, you can simply select a piece of text, bring up the properties and enter in whatever you'd like this to be. I can call this seven feet and zero inches and hit enter and it's going to change. Now this also can be a quick and easy way to remove a bunch of overrides. So if we select our text, in order to remove that override we did and go back to say the dynamic dimension, you simply need to remove the text you've added and delete it. So you want a blank box and then selecting outside is going to restore that dynamic dimension. Now you can do this to all of your dimensions by simply selecting one, selecting similar to select them all and going down to override and deleting everything. Now that's going to bring them all back to a normal, typical dimension. And this can be a quick way to fix a bunch of dimensions quickly. If you've come into a drawing and realize somebody's gone and modified them willy nilly, you don't want that in an actual design or construction drawing because these dimensions matter and you don't want people modifying them just because. Now, another question that comes up and kind of a bonus here is how to reset text positioning 
in dimensions. Now, you can see here a bunch of these dimensions have been moved around. And to reset them, you simply need to select it and hover over the text vertex there and go down to reset text position. This is going to center them back to the default location. And this is something that have also been asked recently and can come in handy when you're starting on a drawing that someone else has worked on and modified, or you've accidentally shifted some of your text on your dimensions and you want to center everything nicely for production. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something helpful when it comes to editing and modifying dimension text. If you have any questions or if you want to ask for a new video or the next video, leave a comment down below with your suggestion and I'll definitely add it to the list. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. Cheers and thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos thanks again cheers